Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance with a quick tool review for you this Saturday. Uh, today I want to talk about the Klein Tools Ratcheting Crimper. It's part number 3005CR. These will run you roughly around $27 on Amazon, and I think you can also purchase them at Home Depot. I'll put an Amazon link down in the description below. Uh, but I was using these yesterday, and that's kind of what made me decide I'd, I wanted to talk about them today. And I think that this is a great tool, especially if you're a person who does a lot of crimping uh, at one time. And then also, I like it because I'm kind of a little bit OCD about the way things look. And I like the, the fact that I can get consistent looking crimps with this tool, and it's extremely easy. I also think that this is a good tool for someone who doesn't crimp that often because it's got some features on it to me that make it almost foolproof to where you you can't hardly mess up uh, some of the features of this tool are that it goes from 10 to 22 gauge as far as on the wire that it covers it also has color chart yellow blue and red and what gauge wire that you would need to use so i think that's helpful again for someone who doesn't crimp often and you know you're about to crimp some 12 gauge wire you know well i need to use yellow or if i'm about to crimp you know some 16 i need to use red it's a reminder and it's kind of like a reference chart uh, it also has a tensioning spring adjustment or a tension adjustment i'm not sure if it's a spring in some way but uh you just take out this screw you can adjust it clockwise or counterclockwise depending upon how you feel like you need to adjust it i will let you know i did adjust mine out of the box i actually took it down two notches I just felt like it doesn't smash the connector as much. It looks better and it's still extremely tight. I can't pull the wires out. But I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, some of the features of this in use and let you see what it looks like. So I have some 12 gauge stranded wire here. Uh, so that means I'll need to use a yellow connector. I know that because of the chart again. And one thing I like about this is I can stick the connector into the tool and then that little lip on all your connectors basically acts as a stop. Uh, and now I can hold that in the tool by itself, freeze up this entire hand to sit here and just slide the wire into the connector and get it where I want it. Versus if I'm using another tool, I can, you know, hold down on it and kind of get it in the same exact situation, but it might move around more on me. I just think this is a little bit easier uh, to use. Again, for someone who doesn't do it that often, I think that this is a is a part of the tool that kind of makes it uh, foolproof that you'll put it in the right place. I slide the wire in, get it to wherever I want it to be, and then all you do is push it together, and it's a ratcheting action, kind of like a PVC cutter if you've used one of those before. And then as you can see, it puts two really nice crimp lines, and that's an extremely strong crimp. I've even pulled on it with the wires or with some pliers. And of course I am holding this with my hand. It's not like I've got it in something, but as hard as I want to pull on that, it is not going to come off there. Uh, and it's, it's like I said, to me, it makes a clean crimp. It makes a strong crimp and it's extremely easy to use. Uh, and there's some features on it that make it even easier to use if you're not someone who does it very often. All I have is some 12 gauge wire in my garage right now, so I don't have some others to try as far as to show you the colors, but it's all really the same. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can change another color. It's going to look just like this. Uh, again, you can put it in. This stops because it's hitting the tool. I know I've got it in the right place. Ratchet down. Not a lot of effort involved in that. And you can see two nice lines, extremely strong. And I just think it's a, a, a good tool. And again, I don't use this and carry it with me in my tool bag because I'm not a person that crimps on the daily, you know, or, or does 50 of them at a time. Uh, but every now and then I do. So I, I usually keep my slim organizer in my truck. I keep this in my pack out drawers in my truck. And then if I know I'm going to do something, I just grab this out, grab my organizer and take it with me. Now, if I'm at a unit doing some service work uh, and I find a crimp that I need to redo, then that's when I will typically just use the pliers that are with me that have the crimp feature. I'm not gonna walk all the way back out to my truck to grab these, 
But again, I think if you're someone who, who does a lot, uh, someone who likes for all your crimps to be uniform, you want them to be strong, or if you're someone who uh, doesn't crimp a lot, this has some features that kind of makes it easier and I think it makes you more successful. So that's my take on the Klein Tools 3005CR. Again, I think it's a great tool. I would recommend these. If you have these, let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think about them. Also, if you have something that you think performs better, let us know about that as well. I'm always loving to hear about some other tools to try and, and see because there's always a better tool out there, it seems like. Uh, every now and then we find the best, but it's good to know other people's opinions on things. I hope that you guys have a blessed day. Just wanted to get you this quick review out and, and share this tool with you because I think it's a great tool. You guys be safe, and I'll see you on the next video.